Hello, welcome back to my channel. This time I just want to show you the tactics that I use in Wigan League and also the first games that I already played and how it went. So this is the team that I use in Wigan League. Many of you know it, but if you're new to this channel, this is my team and do subscribe so you don't miss any content. My custom tactics. This is what I use, 5-3-2, 4 4 2, 4 1 2, 1 2, narrow and free, 4 3, 1 2. I never touch this 5 3 2 actually, very rarely, but the ones that I use always, these two tactics. So let's check it out. This is the tactics that I use on this formation press after precision loss, and 4 width and 7 depth. And I rarely touch this uh, formation here. So, instructions, I have get in behind for both strikers and come back on defense. Here I have stay back while attacking on both and cover wing. For my wingers, come back on defense, cut inside, get in behind. And for my left back and right back, I have, I have stay back while attacking and I do not touch my full backs. Uh, the only one I have here is sweeper keeper. That means he will come out when the ball comes on corners and etc. So for the other tactic, four one two one two narrow. On this tactic here, I have press after position loss. Also, I have one plus width, and this is basically the same instructions. Getting behind for both strikers. Neymar stay forward. Renato, cut passing lane, stay back while attacking. And Mbappe, I have only cover sender. That's it. Asian is the same. Cover sender. And my fullback, uh, right backs, stay back while attacking and stay back while attacking. And of course, sweeper keeper. So, and the last formation here, it is constant pressure. This is where, when I'm really screwed, you know. And it's basically the same thing. Get in behind, get in behind, stay forward, stay back while attacking for all three because they will come forward, but they also have to come back. So when you attack like this, you gotta make sure that they come back. This is why I have stay back while attacking. You can always uh, trigger them to run forward if they do not. So, and stay back while attacking. And yeah, for the team here, it's working very well. Ronaldo and Ronaldo scoring goals like crazy. And the Asian that we bought, he is very, very good. So if you have the father to do him, I would recommend doing this card. This is definitely an end game card. So let's check out the highlights. First game here, already facing Rit Martinez. Incredible. We start good here with Ronaldo scoring a goal. And in the 67th minute, we score another one with Ronaldo again. Goal scoring machine, this Ronaldo. Here we get a bit, a bit lucky, actually very lucky. And we score three goals. Next game, a very, um, I would say very weak team at this late stage of the game. We score one goal here. And Ronaldo again. Again, we get very lucky with this weird, weird goal. And Essien. Yes, he can also score goals. And here with the beautiful combination with both Ronaldos. They're just so beastly incredible these cards and Neymar I think this opponent is the first opponent for a long time that I've faced that is pretty damn easy as you know all of you know in this channel we face very tough opponents because we are in Division 1 uh, and in Wigan League 
well, we face very tough opponents also. So for me, playing a game like this, as you can see, 8-0, even we score another goal 9-0, it was a pleasure for once. Next win here. And Ronaldo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm speedless, speechless. Oh my God. Pirlo, prime moment, scoring a beautiful goal here. And we get another one. 2-1. Yeah. I don't know what, what Oblak is doing there. He's sleeping, I think. Another one from this Pielo. Incredible. And we get one back with Neymar. Actually, it was a pretty close uh, game. And again, the powerful Ronaldo scoring. 98 Pele. Now, how often do you see this card? Very rarely. Nonetheless, we get a beautiful goal with Ronaldo and he scores but it will not stop us again Ronaldo yeah yeah this is the car yeah this goal when you try to take the ball nothing happens we all know this goal and we get one Ronaldo. This is the game that I actually lost. This Red Martinez, he's very annoying. I can just tell you this right now. Get a bit, a bit lucky here. One goal. But then here, I tackle the ball. Look at this. And he, get, he just gets through and score a crazy goal. And here he turns and score. That was our first loss, second uh, win, no second, it is actually the fifth win against a verified FIFA player, already in the fifth uh, win here, as you can see his record, he's on the list, so this was a very tough game. Nonetheless, we get one goal. And here, a pretty uh, powerless goal, I would kill, call it. He get a beautiful goal here. I'm using a hawk on R9, but still he performs like this. Incredible. As you can see, it's a very close game. But look at this. You can just tell that this player he is skillful. That scene actually annoyed me very much. <sighs> that celebration scene. It didn't stop me. And we did also an annoying celebration scene. Because, yeah. So we are currently 5 and 1. This weekend league feels very sweaty and this is because we have the league Ang team out. Mbappe, Neymar, Ben Yedder, Marquinhos, like all of these sick cards. Now you can understand why people will go crazy over these weekend league matches. And again, play without stress because it is not worth it you see my pack opening every week i do not get very good red player picks as you can see this is what i've forgotten this is not extremely good my red player picks all black this was a good Müller, but i would rather have had Kimmich or goretzka but so you know don't stress Subscribe if you're new to this channel. I keep you updated on my weekend league matches and stay safe until next time